Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial we will learn about loops. Loops are used to run a block of code a certain number of times. Loops are used are used to run a block of code certain number of times we have mainly four types of loops one is the for next loop statement next one is for each then next statement The third one is important do loop statement. The last one is least important, and I do not recommend you to even go through this because this is not important. So Firstly, we will try the for next loop statement. Let's get back to Notepad. And start writing the code. When you start writing the code, let's practice by giving a start message in the beginning. So you will understand that the program has started even if the program has an error still this message box will be shown so message box start now for i equals 1 to 10 step 1 message box i next message box the end. Let's try running this program. 24, 25, 4 loops. So as I explained before, loops are used to run a certain set of code a certain number of times. So in this case, you see 4i equals 1 to 10 so this message box is going to get executed 1 to 10 that is uh, as i equals 1 then this message box will be run so message box i is uh, one so one is printed and then it goes again here this time the step one is executed so one plus one is two and then the i value is two and it comes here and message box i is two and two is displayed and goes on and on and on and finally you reach 10. once it reaches 10 it's an exit condition so once it reaches 10 it will be the 10 will be displayed and it goes to next and once it goes to next then uh, it goes to the next line that's when the uh, this particular set of code the execution goes to the next line that's when the execution goes to the next line so you need to understand that i equals 1 to 10 10 is the exit criteria and step 1 could be changed to step 2 and what happens is every time 2 is added to this particular value so 1 3 5 7 9 and then it exits the uh, code because after 9 it directly goes to 11 11 is not possible so 9 will be the last which will be shown now let's save this 25 for loops and let's try executing this 
as you can see this is not saved as a VB script so let's just try saving that again save as VBS now let's go back here start so as you can see there is some kind of problem or let's close it okay three four five six seven eight nine nine ten all right the end let's try it again start one two three four five six i'm clicking something else and that's why this is happening let's uh there's a problem okay now we have understood that you could execute the script in this way and you could also write from 10 to 1 and give the step value as negative 1 and let's try executing this code once again so this time it starts from 10 9 8 7 6 Oh my god, I don't know why it goes here. But in your case, it will surely work. Don't worry about that. So, that's about it. And let's try changing the step here. Step to negative 2 and save it. Let's go back here and execute it. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, the end. Now, now let's try it. 1 to 10. And this time give the step as 2 and save it let's try executing this again so that's one three five seven nine the end as I said 9 will be the last value because 11 is not 11 has crossed 10 and 10 is our uh, exit criteria excuse me and uh, that's about the uh, four loops in a simple manner and uh, once we do the scripting in our uh, Katia environment in our macros we would uh, surely have to use these kind of uh, loops in order to uh, run certain set of codes for the automation purpose so make sure that you completely understand and practice uh, this loops part and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any doubts, please comment below the video and you could also write to me at ktia.pro.user at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please share the video among your friends, the channel among your friends and uh, please make, my, make the channel lively and this program lively as well. Thank you so much and stay tuned.